Hello, my name is Rob Anderson and I am the PGA Director of Golf here at Monterey Peninsula Country Club. And I'm Bob Zoller, the Director of Greens and Grounds. On behalf of Bob and our teams, it's our honor to welcome you as a new member at Monterey Peninsula Country Club. We know that if you become a member here, you're passionate about golf, you love your golf, and you've probably played at many other clubs. We'd just like to take you through a few aspects of caring for the golf course that might be just a little different here at Monterey Peninsula Country Club. One of the first areas that you'll touch during your golf experience here at MPCC is going to be one of our two magnificent practice facilities. At the club, we're fortunate to have two areas that you can work on your game. We have the main practice facility located by the golf clubhouse, and then we have the magnificent Point Joe driving range, which is located directly between the 13th and 15th holes on the dunes course. Bob Zoller is going to touch on how we would like for you to hit balls when you're at one of these magnificent practice areas. So I think the first thing that we would talk about would be that it's really one of the most fascinating things we have for golf here during the year is the PGA uh, Pro Tour event in February. And when you watch guys who practice every day for a living, you see that they really care for the golf course very well. So what you'll see is when they practice on a driving range, the imprint, the signature of their divot pattern is probably just as unique as their fingerprint. But the main thing is that they utilize the turf space very well. They will always back the next shot up to the back of the prior divot, which actually eats up less turf as they practice. Then they'll take a long, narrow divot pattern, which allows the turf to heal both from the sides and from the seed that fills the void. If you can help with this, it makes a big difference in the quality of our practice tees. Upon your completion of the warm-up session at our practice facilities, your next stop on your golf journey at MPCC will be the first tee of the dunes or the shore course. Upon arrival, our wonderful professional staff will be sure to greet you with a friendly smile as well as highlight the golden rules that we have for play at MPCC. It would be my honor to introduce here Adam Schaefer, our first assistant golf professional and PGA member, who will highlight a few of these golden rules. Thanks Rob. As Rob said, we have a few golden rules here at MPCC. And when you come to the first tee, we'll be sure to go over all these rules for the day that include entering and exiting the golf carts in the fairways, replacing all divots, fixing ball marks, and most importantly, pace of play. If we can leave the golf course better than we find it, everyone here will have a great experience. Now that your round of golf is on the way here at MPCC, it is requested that you drive your golf carts through these gates to enter the fairways as well as to exit back to the cart paths around all putting surfaces. You'll notice that these gates are identified by green stakes and white caps on top. Once you get your golf cart onto the fairway, please keep the cart onto the fairway turf. We ask that you avoid all rough areas as well as native grass areas. Thank you so much for keeping your carts in the right areas on the golf course. The next thing we need you to know is that the fairways on each golf course are comprised of very different turfs. Webster's Dictionary defines a weed as any plant growing out of place. So if you put the shore seed on the dunes course or the dune seed on the shore course, you're presenting a weed into the fairways. So please be sure that you have the shore seed for the shore course, the dune seed bottle for the dunes. If you find yourself on the course without the appropriate seed, we request that you leave them unfilled and we'll take care of it the next morning. During your round of golf, if you happen to find yourself into one of our bunkers, there's a few things to keep in mind. First, if you enter and exit from the low points, That'll help keep you safe as well as protect the integrity of the bunker. We also want you to rake the bunker thoroughly and then upon leaving the bunker please tap your shoes free of any sand so we do not track the sand onto the putting greens. Now Bob, where would you like our members to place the rakes? So depending on where you play your golf, some courses will leave it outside the bunker, some will leave it in the sand. But what we've found here to have the least amount of impact on play is to leave the rake head in the bunker with the handle of the rake about two feet outside. And once again, please leave those rakes at the low side of the bunker where golfers will enter and exit. The putting surfaces at MPCC are absolutely pristine. Bob, you and your team do an amazing job. So as golfers, let's do our part to help Bob and his team make the putting surfaces the best in the country. So to do that, let's not only fix our, our ball marks, but fix any other ball marks that you happen to see that are not repaired. Bob, what's the best practice here at MPCC for fixing ball marks? So thanks, Rob. So here's what I would say. My first thought is make a conscious effort to find your ball mark. Many times the greens will be firm and the ball will release a ways from where it hit. So as Rob had mentioned, if you try and find yours and fix another one, that's the key to success. Secondly, if you use a two-pronged tool, 
the metal ones that you can get from the pro shop, it can do a much better job of lifting the turf and flattening it out. As you play your round of golf on either the shore or dunes course, you're going to come across many uh, road crossings such as this one from 17 green to 18 tee of the dunes course. Please be mindful as you approach all of these areas on the golf course to adhere to the cautionary signage, in this case the stop sign stenciled on the cart path, to make sure that you stop, look right and left, and make sure it's safe to proceed onto the next hole. We want to make sure that you not only have a great day of golf, but a safe day. A key ingredient to a great golf experience is a swift pace of play. At MPCC, we adhere to a pace of play of four hours or better. To help achieve that goal, always keep in mind ready golf principles, assist your fellow playing partner with being ready to help play their shot, and then also put your push cart or your golf cart at the back of every green so that you can exit easily and be ready to move on to the next hole. Also, always remember to score when you get to the next tee. Hopefully this will help you get around in four hours or better and allow yourself and everyone behind you to have a great day of golf. Once again, welcome to Monterey Peninsula Country Club. If you love golf, you've made the right choice. We'll look forward to seeing you out on the golf courses. Thank you, Bob. It's been a pleasure working with you to put this video together. And on behalf of the entire golf operations staff, welcome to Monterey Peninsula Country Club. We're thrilled to have you. And please don't hesitate to call upon us if we can help you in any way.